Hello, it's Alex, the Bookubus. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror from the 1970s, 80s and 90s written by women. And today I'm going to be talking about Such Nice People by Sandra Scopatone. Such Nice People by Sandra Scopatone was originally published in 1980 and it's about the Nash family. They are a white middle-class family. There is husband and wife, Cole and Anne, and their five children. The oldest is Kit, who is in her early 20s and is away at college. Next is 17-year-old Tom, who is a very popular kid at school. And next up is Sarah, then Stephen, and the youngest Max. And on the surface, they are a very ordinary, stereotypical family dealing with what most middle-class families are dealing with. But we soon learn that that's not quite the case here, especially with regards to teenager Tom. Right at the beginning of the story, we find out that he has been visited by someone or something called SOLA, S-O-L-A in all capitals. And we also learn that Tom is planning on killing his family for SOLA. So that is how the story opens up. And it's broken up into specific days, starting off with the 18th of December. And we also know right from the beginning that Tom is planning this mass murder to take place on the 22nd of December. So the book is broken up into these consecutive days and we know that it's counting down to something. We know it's leading up to something. This is a very character-driven story. There is plot to it as well, but a lot of time is spent on these characters as individuals and also as part of a family dynamic and also with a few other characters outside of the family. And we find out that each of these characters has their own problems that they're dealing with, they have their own secrets and yeah, not all of them are as like seemingly perfect as maybe someone looking at them from the outside would think. So other than Tom wanting to kill his family, uh, the other characters might have uh, slightly less murderous things going on in their lives, but they do have problems of their own. The other members of the family, including the children, have some of their own secrets and issues as well including things like drugs and a lot of these things start to come to the surface over the course of the story and all culminate while alongside this we're also leading up to this mass murder that Tom is planning on carrying out. So a lot of time is spent on these characters really fleshing out their personalities and their lives and what is going on under the surface that they uh, may be keeping to themselves and not sharing with the rest of the family. We really delve into a lot of these characters' backstories and things that may have helped shape them into who they are today. So the things that are happening with Tom, he has started to see this person, this entity called Sola, and it has told him that in order to become a part of their new way of life. He has to kill his family and Tom's other family members and some of his friends have started to notice some changes in him and that he's just not acting the way he normally acts. But because he is a teenage boy, they just mostly pass it off as growing pains and just, yeah, being a teenager and that kind of stiff upper lip attitude of pretending everything is fine when really it isn't. So for the most part the story is quite a slow burn character study as 
things about these people are revealed and different things start to play out but towards the end things definitely kick up a notch and the tension is just tightened with every single page. I was on the proverbial edge of my seat reading this and just not knowing exactly what was going to happen. There are definitely some wild things that happen in this book, of course mostly relating to Tom and these things that he is experiencing and yeah there's definitely a couple of WTF moments within here. This is really excellently written, the characters are so well done that you really do believe them as real people with real problems and they're not all particularly likeable but that doesn't mean you can't get on board with their stories. The way that all of the individual threads of stories from the individual characters slowly comes together over the course of the story is excellently done and it really does get super tense as it gets towards the end. It does touch on social commentary and themes of the traditional family unit and gender roles and also things like secrets and repression. I definitely don't want to spoil exactly where the story goes so it is a bit difficult to say too much more about this one but I really enjoyed this one. I rated it four stars out of five. It's excellently written, really fantastic characters and yeah the way that the story plays out is so well done and unfortunately this book is out of print and it is a bit hard to track down. I have been after this for quite some time and the prices of secondhand copies can be a bit high. I was finally lucky to track down a copy for about $10 which was much more reasonable than some of the prices I see this being sold at. Even then $10 personally I think is a bit high for a secondhand book but it's one I'd been after for quite some time so that was a good price in comparison to other copies I've seen so I nabbed it and I'm really glad I did. I do wish this was reissued, I wish it was you know at least available as an ebook or something, maybe that will happen at some point who knows. So yeah unfortunately this is a bit of a tricky one to track down but I'm really glad that I got my hands on a copy and gave it a read because it was such a good one and you could definitely pick this up at any time of year but picking it up in December in the run-up to Christmas would give you more of that immersive feeling because it takes place at that time of year. So those were my thoughts on Such Nice People by Sandra Scopitone. Do let me know if you've read this one, I would love to hear your thoughts. I did quickly look the author up online to get a bit more info about her. She was born in 1936 and she came out as a lesbian during the 1970s and she is the author of quite a number of novels including some mystery titles and some young adult and it looks like she has had work published even as recent as 2006 so she might still be writing today. Unfortunately I couldn't find a ton of information about her other than that but on the basis of such nice people she's an excellent writer, I'm really glad I was able to finally track this down and give it a read and I would definitely recommend it if you're able to get your hands on a copy too. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!